Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd, and this is The Switch on Bowling Science. We're here at Spare Times in Hampton, Virginia, the bowling center that I grew up in, and we're on day two of 30 straight days of converting to two-handed bowling. Bowling 10 games yesterday at two different houses definitely took its toll on my legs, and I was a little sore to get started today. It definitely took a whole game to get warmed up as far as my foot speed and leg work is concerned. But once I shook off the soreness, I had two main goals for today. One was to improve my tuck at the line by tucking deeper, not popping up, and keeping my knees closer together. This will help decrease my push off and how much that I get sideways at the line and sometimes get in risk of fouling with my back foot. I also wanted to try some of my other bowling balls like this Black Ridiculous, amongst a few others in the bag, so that I could start to get an idea of what my other ball shapes might be as far as reactions. The lanes were fairly dry overall, but there was enough head oil that I could use a few different shapes and get them to the break point. At the end of today's episode, you'll see slow motion shots with five different balls, and we'll also show and talk about the layouts of them. Even though my Black Ridiculous forced me left of the gutter, once I got where I needed to be, the ball performed wonderfully. But as usual, my best look on a dryer house shot is my short pin results. So I went back to that and threw that for another game before trying to get loose with the four or five other bowling balls that I brought with me. By the end of today's session, I was able to completely commit to keeping the shoulder lower and dragging the back toe, while also keeping the knees closer together and staying more tucked at the line. I was really happy with how the last four or five shots felt, even if a few were slightly off target or if I wasn't quite lined up at the time. The last few shots definitely excited me and got me ready to work again tomorrow when we go to Pin Boys in the morning. The one thing that has to be talked about in this conversion to two-handed bowling is 100% how much more fun bowling seems to be when bowling two-handed. I just cannot wipe the smile off my face. Let's see how this one looked. Probably my best shot of the day. First up for our slow-mos is the short pin results. This ball is drilled an inch and a quarter by six and a quarter by three quarters of an inch above. At a surface preparation of 4,000, it easily gets down the lane and gives me the best shape on the back end when playing on house patterns. This one is my Zing Hybrid, drilled about six by six with the pin about an inch and a half to two inches above the line from the ring finger to the PAP. This ball here is just as long as the results, but has a more continuous shape on the back end with a slightly smoother response to friction. This is my Black Ridiculous, with a stronger drilling, four and a half by five and three quarters, with the pin just three quarters of an inch above the ring finger to PAP line. This is a stronger symmetrical drilling with a smoother pin height. This here is my Squatch Hybrid, similar layout to the Black Ridiculous. This is four and a half by five and a half with the pin an inch and a half above the ring finger to PAP line. So this is just a slightly stronger drilling than the Ridiculous. Last up is my short pin Phantom. It has the same layout as the short pin results, but it is a lower diff symmetrical ball. I saved this one till last because with as deep as my feet had to be today, this ball's shape wasn't as good. This ball really shines when my feet are further right and I have a little bit more volume. I am Mikey Dredd, and I want to thank you all for subscribing, like I know you have, and hitting that notification bell. Feel free to leave me a comment below, and if you want, join the lab. That's our Patreon group, and the best way for you to support Bowling Science, and get some extra content in return. Until tomorrow, thank you for watching The Switch.